what's going on. It's uh, Dylan or Red Coder here, and welcome back to episode four of Redcraft. And as you see, these items are starting to despawn. Well, I've been doing quite a bit of work here, and I walked a long ways. Well, actually, if you look at our coordinates up on that X or Z axis, we've walked about 3,100 blocks, which was about. 15 20 minutes of straight walking for me and I started with a stack of potatoes so you just you can tell but um, I did collect a couple supplies in a jungle back there for our next farms that we're gonna be building in this episode but uh, the main reason I came here was for hardened clay and this area was that level all the way around and I cleared it out I mean not above the sand but like above this hardened clay <coughs> and I cleared most of it out Anyways, hope you guys uh, enjoy this video, and I'm going to go ahead and start walking back, and uh, let's get into it. I'll let you guys know when I get back to base. Ah, relief. We have actually made it back to base. Um, on the way back, I found some pumpkins, and as you just saw, some of the other stuff I collected. Um, but uh, there's several farms I'm planning on building, but today's episode is probably going to focus on a couple things terraforming around this so it doesn't look like I just cut out the rock. Probably going to remove that lava lake and terraform over that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a little hoarse. Um, probably going to take some of this and start on the base and get a cocoa bean farm built uh, semi-automatic. I'll push a button and it'll harvest it for me. And then um, we'll get a basic farm for these set up so that eventually we have enough to set up an automatic farm. Uh, I'm going to decide where to put all those, but first off, let's get working on removing that. So I'm going to chuck away all the things that I've gathered, and grab some cobble, and we'll see how this goes. Alright, um, hopefully um, you guys will, if all goes according to plan, you guys will have seen the thumbnail for this video, and at the beginning of this video, you should have seen the new intro that I've been working on. If not, then I severely messed up, and I'm sorry. Um, had a couple of my subscribers that told me that they didn't necessarily like the old one. Um, to say the least. So we're going to go ahead and patch that up later. Um... I think I already have one made online. I just need to get it completely rendered and then I'll clip it in the beginning of this video. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. Um, really hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into all the action. Alright guys, so I went out and uh, I went out and got some cactus and I put a little bit there to grow and I got 19 left. As you can see, I also went ahead and terraformed this area. So it's nice and smoothed out now. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Uh, just realized that I didn't really curve back this area much. I think that right there will... If we do that, that. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better. But uh, anyways, hold on. This has been frustrating me for a while actually. There we go. Anyways, I put all our supplies there for building, and we're going to throw all this dirt inside for now, because the first thing we're going to do is get a few new farms going, I believe, uh, starting off with, um, well, uh, probably our cocoa bean farm. So we're going to head outside and work on that first. Uh, this one's going to be uh, kind of semi-automatic. When I say that, I mean push button, harvest, and uh, manual replant because there's no way to automatically replant on cocoa beans that I know of. So we're going to let that cook for a little bit. Uh, <coughs> oh, I'm really hoarse. And um, while we're working on that, while we're waiting for those to cook, I mean... We'll grab one of these, so we're going to use that for a decoration block, and these two things, and we'll get that in our pumpkins, which are inside, working 
um, growing up here in a minute. So I'll turn those into seeds and convert a little for them. But um, let's see if we got enough dye made. We should. Yep, we do. To go ahead and dye this all green because green is our farming district color. And I do have a little bit of polished anisite that I'm going to use in this build. So let's head over here and see what I can do. And uh, I'll let you guys know once I've got a little bit more stuff. Hey, you know what? You're ugly. Just like me. Oh. <laughs> Some heavy dirt. We're going to borrow you. Okay. We're going to go over here. And I'm going to see what I can get done on this farm here in the next couple minutes. And I'll get back with you once I've got the basic redstone components put together. Hey guys, I'm just underneath wiring up the bottom half of this. And I'm actually not going to show you guys the upper half's design until it's completely done. But uh, I just figured what the way I'm going to do this. I've, I, mm, I just figured I'd explain the way I'm going to do this. Okay, so the basis of it is, is there'll be a button on... realize two things are wrong that's wrong and then that is wrong because there's going to be that there and that's going to have to have redstone on top of it which is going to be very hard to achieve got it Anyway, so there's going to be a button there. That's going to power this. And it's going to run down 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That will power this. Actually, we're going to have a block here with a redstone torch on the bottom of it. What that's going to do is that's going to power this block. And then there's going to be a torch tower there that goes up. That will run off a delay at the top before it powers the uh, top section. So, underneath, I believe it's this one, we'll have another torch, yeah. And I believe this is actually all going to be. Whoops. I'm actually showing you guys the design right now, I guess. I'm stupid. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame all of this in. And the clay. The, I think I like the notches in the corners. Anyways, so what's going to happen is, is this is going to tor torch tower all the way up. And I'll work, do that right now. So uh, I'll, t I'll let you guys know when I, once I've got the top in. And I'll explain all that to you as well. Um, be right back. Hey guys, uh, it works. I got all the redstone in. As you can see, it's a really clean, simple design. I like it. I'll add some lighting later, but this is the main bulk of the redstone that's outside is just this little bit out the back which is really not that bad all this up here is is a delay signal to uh, slow down the current before it gets to the bottom thing so that uh, so it can't the bottom pistons can unpower so the top ones can power and push them down I'm not I'm a little bit under the weather as you guys can probably tell um, and then this here will be the storage for all of these. But as you can see, once I click this button, they'll fall off. And they get pushed back down. And I can go through and span these back in place. Like that. 
and they'll grow up and we'll eventually harvest them all. Anyway, that is farm number one of two or three today, actually. We're going to be doing a lot over here. I think also in this episode we'll start on our base. I do have a couple of good designs for that, but we will have to go gather some sand here in a minute for that as well. Because we, we will need a little bit of glass. Not a lot. Um, we may actually have some. Just chilling. Like one of these. Yeah, right there. I know we have just a two or three blocks of it over by the desert, and that may give us just enough to do what we need. What am I looking for? It's in this chest. Now, let me double check. I need to make sure. Yeah, cyan. That's the color of clay I've decided to use for the base. It just goes well with the whole theme. Um, but we're going to chuck this in this chest and grab these out of there. Now, I don't know where my pumpkins went. I need to go find those. Somewhere inside the base. Anyways, I'm going to get working on the next farm, guys. I'll let you guys know once I've got something done. Hey, guys. I just went over here. I got the uh, melon and pumpkin farm done. Uh, I don't know if I told you this in the last clip, but the cocoa bean farm is completely operational. Uh, it's about ready to harvest, so I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. You know, so right now, I'm just uh, kind of picking up all our cactus, and I'm going to bring some sand over there, and we'll get a little decorative cactus farm going over there. Once I get all this picked up, and that looks like all of it, so uh, let's head over there. Actually, I'm going to grab a little bit of sand, because I don't have any on me. Let's just go ahead and do that. That right there. That'll give us a nice little 4x4 four four area to grow cactus with. Yeah, this is our uh, pumpkins over here, and then uh, melons are on this side. And the reason I chose the end of site is as well, it went really well with these two blocks because it's just really simple. But that sound is creepy, but it just looks like a designated that sound is annoying. Hold on. Uh, hostiles. But it just looks like a designated spot for this pumpkin to grow. For this one, and just so on. But, um, yeah, we need just a really small area probably for this. Got 16, so we'll just, we'll take right here. And, uh, I'm gonna try and do this on camera. I want green here instead of lime, because lime was looking really bright to me. And I didn't like that. So, we're gonna take a little area here. blocks of this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's count it out. Actually, not with this. Let's do with this. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We're going to, no, yeah, nine, ten. No, wait. Let me do a border. Like this. This can wrap all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. so much. Hey guys, so I got the cactus farm done. Uh, it's just a really simple design. Like I started, like a block in, I'm going to block a block in from the corner, and then went in the block, and then out too. So I got like this weird altered spiral looking shape, which if I pillar up with this block for some reason, you can kind of see that it kind of goes in and out, in and out, in and out, like a bunch of check marks. And then I put the glowstone slightly off center so it still gives it that twist look. 
But uh, yeah, I, I really like the way that uh, these three all turned out. I mean, they're really simple, but now I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, clear out a little bit more of that chunk of the desert and start on our base over there. Which is going to be uh, quite a few episodes in progress, but actually, no. I changed my mind. Uh, I think that... I need to fix the redstone on this first off. Why is number eight down here not working? Ah. I understand. I'm going to patch this redstone up, guys. I'll see you back here in a minute. Hey, guys. So that is what that entire farm looks like, and that is our profits from the last harvest. Not, that includes replant. But uh, anyways, uh, potato farm looks nice. But I believe that that is all I'm going to have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Red Coder. And I'm out.